Hello my friends, here we are back in Luminar Neo and today we are learning how to add text on an image in Luminar Neo. I am going to give you two examples. One of them will do a dark type on a white background and another one will do a white type on a black background. And uh, we'll do it two different ways too. The first one, I am going to make the type into pages because everyone has pages and you don't have to purchase any additional software and the other one I will do it in Photoshop. So let's start with pages. I have a new document as a disclaimer. I've never used pages. I have no idea how to navigate this program, but we will go with it. I will show you how to do it. Let's see. All right, so this is my text. Now, because I don't use pages, I have no idea how to save this as a JPEG. But I, what I will do to get around that, I will, uh, I'm gonna move my cursor away and I am going to take a screenshot. To take a screenshot on a Mac, you hold down Command, Shift and press number three. And now I have a screenshot over here. I am sure there is a way to do this a lot easier, but I don't know how to do it. So this is the way we will do it today. Then I will use the crop tool over here and I'm just going to crop in my uh, text that I need. So bring in these corners, crop your text and there you go. Now click on crop and then I am going to go over here and save it into, let's save it into my photos. So there you go. Now that text is in my photos. Now let's see, I need to move that from photos. I need to move it into my downloads so I can find it. So I'm going to go into my downloads over here. This is my text and I am going to move it into my downloads. Easy peasy. Moving on back into Luminar Neo. We'll go to edit and you have your layers over here on the left side. Click on load images and find your type. I do not know where mine is. Oh, that's desktop. That's why. There you go. And now to load it as a layer, you double click it from your layer panel over there. And there you go. It's huge. I am going to resize it. So let's see. I'll make it smaller like that. Put it over here. I'm going to increase the opacity at 100%. And now let's think about it. I have a pretty light color photo and I have a white background and a black text. To make the white disappear and just keep the black text, I will have to use one of these darken blending modes, either the darken, multiply or color burn. Let's see which one works. I will start with darken and there you go. It works. Now I have a uh, type that I can just move around. Let's move on to multiply. That works too, just as well. Now, color burn is gonna be a little bit different. When I go on that, we are getting this kind of like, almost like glittery look. I don't know what's happening with that one, but that one does not work so much for me unless that is the look you're going for. And this is how you would add text to an image. Let's go with the second example and do this process in Photoshop and we'll work with a dark uh, image this time. I will choose this image and we are going to go into Photoshop and I already made here a layer, but if you don't know how to do this, I will show you from the beginning. We'll go to new file, choose any size really doesn't matter. Then I will fill this with the black color over here. And then with your type tool, you can choose your color over here. I chose white and let's see. There is my type. Now I am going to accept this and flatten the image. And then I am going to save it into my downloads or onto the desktop. We'll do that. 
All right, we'll save it. Now we can go to our Luminar Neo and we'll go to edits. We'll click on the plus here on the left side where the layers are. Load image. We we'll navigate to our desktop and there is our image. Double click on it. Now it's loaded into my images. Double click on it to bring it as a layer. And there you go. I can position it wherever I want. I can make it bigger or smaller. Whatever you need to do for your image. I'll increase the opacity at 100% and now it's covering my photo. That is because we have to work with blending modes to hide that black uh, background. And the blending modes will work in this scenario are the lighten and screen. If I click on lighten, you see, now I just have the text. I can move around anywhere on my screen. And same thing with screen. That works just as well. And you can, you know, stretch it, make it smaller, make it bigger, make it however you want to. And this doesn't just work with, you know, black and white type. You can do color too. Just make sure that if you're working on a dark background, you choose a lighter text. And if you work on a light background, you want to choose a darker text. That way those blend modes will work for you. And the background has to be white or black in order to be able to completely uh, make it disappear with these blending modes. I hope you learned something today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing and I will see you in my next video.